Hello everyone, Zcore here and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be uh, taking a look at yet another outclassed in Aldirio weapon. Uh, today's, ver today's gun is going to be free though, so um, you're going to see even less often. But on the other hand, uh, it's going to be more accessible if any of you guys want to test it out for yourselves. Uh, we're talking about the Ace Val, of course, as you, could al as you already know. Um, but it used to be called AR Gar which I prefer uh, by that name, although I don't use that name anymore. Um, and both names are weird anyways, so it doesn't really matter. But the official name is Ace Foul. Um, now if we start with the unimportant stuff about this weapon, so the looks and the sort of history of the gun. Um, visually, it, it looks very unique, but personally I don't find it very nice looking. And it looks like it's made out of plastic too, so that doesn't help. Um, but it has uh, pretty nice reload animations uh, and the walking animation is, I don't know, it's not good nor bad. It used to be where you fold it completely against you, but now it's like tilted to the side at 30 or 45 degrees, um, which they changed for whatever reason at, at some point and never mentioned it. Um, they also changed the sound of the weapon and some people might have forgotten about this even, but the gun used to sound a lot slower, so if now it sounds like it has, I don't know, 800 RPM, it used to sound, it ha it used to sound like it has 500 RPM. And um, the older sound was more faithful to its real RPM, so I don't know why they changed it, maybe so that it's more faithful to its uh, sound in real life, but um, its, its sound can be very misleading. Um, it's not very important, but the sound, can, the sound of the gun can be misleading. Uh, when it comes to the RPM of the weapon. Um, and history-wise, this gun used to actually be pretty damn popular. Like, this gun um, and sort of the FY103 were kind of rivals, and you saw them uh, as pretty often, uh, as often as one uh, one or the other. Um, mostly in public game games, but um, sometimes even in competitive plays, although I think the FY103 was more popular in competitive modes and in like um, sweaty matches and, and those sort of environments because that has obviously 30 bullets, whereas this has 20, spoiler alerts. Um, so uh, that gun used to be more, com uh, more competitive, but both were very, very popular, even though nowadays you don't see them at all. Um, and there's a good reason because the stats are not very promising and, and don't really uh, make the gun able to, don't really allow the gun to compete in today's climate where everybody's uh, using credit random box weapons that just do way more damage and are just way more efficient. Now if we get into the actual stats here, um, I'm not going to read, uh, go through the stats, I'm just going to put it on the screen for you guys to see, but what I'm, I'm going to do is compare to other weapons so uh, you have them on the screen here um, if I quickly uh, compare it to its golden version the golden version only has one more range and five more bullets in each magazine with 50 extra uh, ammunition so uh, it's not worth spending your life savings on if you're sitting on a lot of Orphe stars or you have as your favorite weapon then sure go for it but if you're a newer player and you have better things to spend your Warfi stars on, then definitely stay away from uh, the gold version. Now, if we compare it to a, um, a meta rifle like the AK-12, AK sorry, um, you you see that it has no place to to shine. Like it's completely uh, outclassed. Uh, the AK-103 has four. More, AK, gosh, AK-12. Four more damage at 86, 30 less RPM, um, but uh, it still does um, more. It's, it's still gonna do way more damage because it has better multipliers at uh, one for the arms and the legs, whereas it ha the Ace file has 0.8 for the arms and the legs. Um, also, the gun is gonna do way better at range. Um, it has uh, more, two more range at 17. 12 more minimum damage and 0.5 less damage drop per meter. So as we're with Ace Valley, it's going to be hit marker city at range because it has a less 
damage, less multipliers, and worse range stats. The AK-103, AK-12 is gonna have, like, uh, it's gonna be a breeze killing people out of range compared to the ace foul. And the other thing is that, um, on top of those, like, advantages, it also has the full 30 uh, bullets in each magazine. And, uh, there's one other thing, it has, it has zero recoil too, whereas the ace foul is, is sort of, like, known alongside the FY-103 for its sort of, um, noticeable recoil, let's say. And even if we compare it to a bit of a more outdated meta weapon like the Beretta ARX, it still is outclassed because the ARX has 2 less damage but it has 50 more RPM. So that gives it a DPS of 907, which is 46 higher. But also, again, has better stats for range. So 1 more range, 12 more minimum damage, and 0.3 less damage drop. And again, uh, this has a th standard 30 bullets in each clip and higher arms and legs multipliers at 0.1 uh, at one sorry for the arms and 0.9 for the legs so uh definitely you can see that this gun is just completely outclassed and there's no reason for anybody to use it which is why nobody uses it, it because if you just use it you're gonna just always gonna be ending up with hair markers and dying faster to people who have better guns but honestly if we put that aside, which we can't really put that in realistically, I say this gun is pretty damn nice on its own. And it's, I was going through the store and seeing what's available and what you can access uh, how easily. And I think this gun is probably the most accessible, best weapon out there. Um, because the FY103, you have to unlock it and the old, the... Um, Epic Vendor Weapons, I think they're called, whatever, like the VHS and the uh, Psy Gray, they're, you're never going to unlock them uh, unless you play like for like five years. But what I'm trying to say is that this gun is way more accessible than <clears throat> any other good weapons you can get, uh, but it's still very, uh, it's very outclassed compared to metal rifles and even those other weapons that you can unlock for free um so um decent and very accessible but i would not recommend it uh so yeah that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye.